getting ready to unbox the Craftsman mower. 163cc gas mower. Self-propelled. This is supposed to be easy to put together. So we'll see. We've got Vivian here who's going to do this herself. Okay, so looks like the main part of the mower is put together. I wasn't sure whether the wheels would have to be put on or not. I did see some comments on reviews online that said there was minimal assembly. So it looks like there's some zip ties to cut, first thing. Definitely recommend step by step. Sometimes there's something that's um, non intuitive that needs to be done. Interesting. It looks like this does does come with oil, but I did not see that when ordering the mower. So I, I ordered some oil separately, but that's okay. Okay, so she just removes some of the screws in order to bend the handle back and then you, or bolts, I guess there, you put them right back in. So I've had uh, Craftsman mowers before and, and other Craftsman equipment. I thought it was a safe to go with a known brand, although I know there have been uh, changes in ownership and so on over the years. It's well known and well respected from some of the mechanical type people that I've spoken to, um, they indicate that it's easy to get parts for Craftsman compared to some other brands. So I don't know about that personally, but sounds good to me. These have to be completely unscrewed here. Okay, you probably can't hear that, uh, but she's saying there are two screws there that come out in order to pull the handle up. That's the only thing at this point that's a little tricky to figure out what is meant by the diagram. Yep. This one just goes into a slot, nine oh. hooks. Some slot down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we have the mower assembled. We just put some gas into it. And um, in a moment here, we're gonna start it for the very first time, or attempt to start it. <laughs> a couple of features that I wanted to point out. Here's the height adjustment on the front wheel, on the right side of the front wheel. And that's a pretty, pretty standard, pretty common. And then there's the height adjustment on the rear wheel. So we're going to move this over to one of the grassy areas and start it for the first time. A couple more things I wanted to mention about the mower. There is a little nozzle on the side where you can uh, attach a hose. Obviously haven't tried that yet since we're trying it for the first time. And I've never had that on a mower before. And this is a no, does not need to be primed. And this will be the first mower that I've had that doesn't need to be primed. All right, that started right up, one pull. Um, the issue that I've had uh, with an old gas mower that I had was trying to get it to start. Try it again and get some of this grass mode. We have a lot more than what you're seeing here. That's I 
I just want to point out that um, there are several manuals that come with this. There's the operator's manual, and then there's an um, installation or assembly guide. Um, and then there's one just for the engine. And they cover several different models, so some of the stuff applies, some doesn't. Um, I did notice after we had assembled it, there was some more assembly information in the operator's manual, so I would just suggest looking over everything uh, first thing when you open the box. And um, just want to point out the, the lovers, this red uh, handle here, uh, when that's released, uh, the mower stops, uh, the engine turns off. That's pretty common. And then the little uh, handle there, that um, is how you engage the, uh, the self-propelling function. And as I said, there's several different models of this and some of them operate differently. finished mowing half an acre. No problems. It was easy to use and looking forward to it. Uh, getting many miles out of this mower. We're gonna clean it off and put it in the shed now. Okay, we got all this mowed over here and over here front and back and side. Please check the description section below this video for more information about this product. We appreciate your likes and comments. Thanks for watching.